Welcome to ForcePoint's Data Security Posture Management Platform, which provides proactive data security to help organizations mitigate both data breaches and non-compliance by securing vast amounts of data with unparalleled visibility and control. You'll notice this main dashboard shows your scanning progress across various cloud and on-prem data assets, and using advanced AI, ForcePoint's DSPM can rapidly scan a million files per hour from a single data source. So we'll look at the pattern matching here. This kind of highlights how we use our AI and pattern matching to come up with the different types of classification labels, matching on regulatory compliance, and then we add contextualized information about those files by breaking it down into specific categories and subcategories in adding additional tags that you can use uh, from reference and, and uh, queries. We also have these detectors which can be deployed to further fine tune the scanning based off of your unique requirements. So let's take a look at the output of one of the scans. So this is the, the exploration view. And you'll notice that we have this broken out. I can sort by the specific categories, by the subcategories, the different data sources, um, as well as the, uh, the compliance tags. Or we have an advanced query language where I can just start typing source, and you'll see it auto completes for you, equals, let's go SharePoint and classification equals confidential, and then run that. So what I've done is I've narrowed down the search. So it only shows files from this particular SharePoint online scan with ones that the AI has uh, classified as confidential. I can click over here to view uh, extra data about the particular file. I can also go in and verify the machine learning classification. I can look at the permissions and access rights of the particular file. And I can actually do remediation on one or more files right from this report view. So a couple of things that I can do is I can send this back to the machine learning pipeline to say, yep, this was a positive uh, to help fine tune the, the AI models. I can also go in and do revocation. So by applying this, this shows the permissions associated with that particular file. And these are the different users. So I can actually go in and remove users from uh, accessing those particular files. And then lastly, we also have the ability to send those files to the classification pipeline. By clicking apply here, what's going to happen is that ForcePoint DSPM will go back out and touch this file. Since this is in SharePoint, we can either apply Microsoft tags like uh, Purview, or we can potentially apply point persistent tags that stay with these files even outside of their cloud native ecosystem. So how do we get to this state? Well, let's take a look at the compliance hub here. This is kind of the wizard where you select the different geographic regions that you do business in and where your data is stored. You select your specific industries uh, from a compliance standard. You predict uh, select the different types of regulatory compliance that might uh, apply to your organization. Here's the taxonomy where you would align uh, your different classification levels and labels and from a uh, data registry standpoint. This provides the ability to assign different departments uh, with different data assets. And then under the data controls, this is where you can do custom playbooks for proactive automation of remediation workflows. And the cool thing you'll notice is that the matching conditions here utilize that same query language that I showed in the Explore view. So basically, you create these rules here in the data control. And when you run subsequent scans, assuming that the matching conditions were met, we can go in and do uh, different types of actions. In this case, we could send a notification via a webhook. And then down at the bottom of the DSPM tab here are these incident views. And this is basically a nice little dashboard of um, actionable items that we think that your analyst should probably look into. And I think this is a nice segue into the last section we're gonna review here, which is the analytics dashboards. 
So these are all customizable dashboards. In this example, this is the uh, data risk assessment. And you'll see that we have the ability to uh, basically figure out what geographic region the data was in, along with uh, what data might be contained. So maybe we found some uh, PII related to uh, Germany, German uh, users, maybe in an American data source you might want to clean up. We also have the ability to do uh, reports on specific users, outdated passwords, inactive accounts, uh, different types of things like that. And then uh, we have the ability also to do things like uh, monitor for redundant, outdated, or trivial um, files. So this will help both reduce your uh, risk exposure as well as uh, be able to reclaim some data uh, and, and drive space as well. And if we click on the edit, all of these are customizable. And if I go on the edit here, you'll see that these are customized once again using that same exact query language. And then any of the reports that you run, you can export them either to uh, PDF or JSON so that they can be consumed downstream in some other sort of orchestration platform. So this has been a very brief overview of Forcepoint uh, DSPM's capabilities, and I sincerely hope you found this overview insightful. Please visit forcepoint.com slash DSPM, where you'll find more information on Forcepoint DSPM, as well as be able to contact us for a demo. Thank you.